Hey guys, it's Tony and welcome back to my channel and if you're new around here, I'm so happy to have you. Welcome and I hope you'll stay around for a little bit. Anyways, it is April now. It's crazy. This year is just flying by and in case you couldn't tell, I'm very happy because it's warm out. I can wear a tank top has orange bird on it so I am just absolutely ready for the warm weather and the summer but you know as we're getting closer and closer to summer we're also getting closer and closer to May 1st which for those of you who don't know is National Decision Day for college and that's pretty much the day that most colleges if not all want their decision by so you got to pay your deposit before May 1st and on May 1st all the seniors who are going to college wear their shirts to school and it is just a big old grand time because you're going to college now. And because there's only a couple of weeks left before National Decision Day, I know a lot of people have decided already, but if you haven't, you're probably struggling with it. And that's totally okay. I struggled with it myself. And so I thought I'd sit down for a little video. This is probably gonna be one of my last college videos, like advice videos. I think it's gonna be the last one because the next college video is probably gonna be like, going to college or like packing and like that kind of stuff like getting ready for college not just applications and decisions so we're just going to talk today a little bit about my experience and my advice for how to decide on a college if you're not 100 percent sure where you should go my first tip for anyone is listen to what your gut says because if you have a natural instinct or like some sort of kind of a draw even if you can't explain it like listen to it I kind of had that feeling with my college like I visited I applied to a bunch of schools I visited a bunch of schools and something just kept pulling me back to my school that it felt like home it felt like I was already going there every time I visited and it was like that is where I belong so if you feel like you belong somewhere you're probably right go ahead and like reaffirm it like go on tours open houses do the same things at other schools and compare it but if you have a feeling like definitely listen to that feeling because most of the time your feeling is right like we talk about this with tests all the time in school that if you don't know the answer like you just like listen to your instinct because it probably knows and i know it's two very different things taking a test and going to school but in a way, it's very similar. If you're not sure, your mind is telling you something and it's probably going to be right. So listen to it. The other thing is always be sure where you're going to be happy where you're going. And by that, I mean the location because location is a big deal. After college, you're going to want to get a job. And when you're in college, you're going to be wanting to get internships and like all different kinds of opportunities with hands-on learning. So if you're somewhere where there's even if it's a great program, if there is nothing there for you, like it's hard. I know some people like they'll go to schools and it's literally the middle of nowhere and there's no close by internships and then they end up having to take a semester off to go to their internship and it's so counterproductive. So you have to be sure wherever you're going, A, you're gonna be happy living there, like climate. If you wanna go down to Florida and live in Florida, that's great. If you wanna live in like Buffalo, Canada, like anything like crazy north good luck with that i knew i couldn't so i didn't look anything further north than where i lived i looked home and south couldn't do it so make sure you're going to be happy where you live and also think long term about the location because even though you might like living there is it exactly what's going to be beneficial to you in the future building on that point you also want to make sure that you're going to be happy with your program and what you're getting out of the campus so sometimes a strong program is great because that means you're getting the best of the best. But sometimes it can also be good to get a strong program that's maybe number four or five rather than one that has a lot of variety. So that's kind of what I went for in my school. I wanted to do dance originally, but now communications. And I looked at two schools, like my final two. One had an excellent, well-funded, very strong communications program. But that's all they had for me there was no really other options they didn't have a lot of dance clubs they didn't have a lot of performing arts life and it wasn't a school where i could branch out and try other things while still focusing on communications where the other school it was still a strong program it just wasn't as big of a program if that makes sense and there was a lot more variety like dance is such a big thing their performing arts are such a big thing and this thing the school emphasizes the most is being able to reach out and do whatever you want and I wanted variety because 
if I want to go to college, I want to get the most of it. I want to be able to try new things. I want to be able to try and meet new people with different interests. Just so much fun stuff. And I don't want to be just focusing on communications because especially in today's environment, you have to be well-rounded. And even though like I could kind of get that at any level art school, I got a feeling at my school personally that I could literally do anything and when it's coming from the professors and the kids themselves that you're talking to and I know a few people who go there as well and they're all saying that like the school works to make sure you're happy and you're getting everything you want so if you guys have to make some sort of concessions or compromises like that's fine but you can do whatever you want like that was so important to me and I just didn't get the same feeling about that type of flexibility and variety at the other school which is why I chose my school and I'm very happy with it. So you have to make sure that you're getting what you want because obviously you don't want to go to a bad program because what are you going to be learning but you also want to make sure that you have everything you want. So whether that's going to be music and science or science and I don't know like creative writing just make sure you're going to go somewhere that it's a good program for what you want but it's also gonna have everything else you want. Social life is such a big thing too that I feel like I need to talk about this. So I kind of mentioned in my last point that like you have to make sure the school has everything you want and I mentioned that it had a big dance culture and the communications culture is also pretty big, which is great for me. So my two big things, they have, and I'm so happy about it. But you also have to make sure that your social life is gonna be happy because college isn't just classes and sitting in a dorm room or going home. It's all about reaching out, meeting new people, like learning about other people's lives in like different parts of the country and the world. And it's really a big part of it is socialization because you can't be healthy and happy just going to classes and home. Like you have to have friends, you have to have people to talk to. And it's natural. Like, so focusing on social life and looking at that is definitely not a bad thing. It's not like, oh, I'm just looking for a party school because like I didn't want to go to a big party school. I wanted to go somewhere where I could learn, but I also wanted to make sure I'd find people I'd like. And so sometimes that's as simple as just looking around the campus and looking at what kind of things the other people are doing. Like even just looking at the way people carry themselves and dress, kind of going back to like your gut feeling, you can kind of tell a general consensus of what people are like even if it's just holding the door open for you so you want to look and make sure that there's other people there that kind of like fit your vibe and obviously like you don't have to go to a school where like everyone's the same as you because that's also not helpful but you want to look for a school where people are nice and a nice fit for you and sometimes that's not always the same for everyone, but you're going to make new friends. So if you know you're not going to be happy and comfortable and fit in with these people, you don't necessarily always know your freshman class going in, but everyone's at that school for a reason. And it's going to be very similar to the years before. So the current freshmen and the current sophomores. So you can kind of get a general vibe. And then also joining the Facebook groups or the apps that some schools have to talk to other people you can kind of get a vibe of what these people are like and whether you're going to be in like a socially healthy place there or if you need to look somewhere else. And it's totally okay to not go somewhere if you don't think you're going to be happy because you're not going to find any friends or the people there just aren't anything like you and it's not going to make you comfortable. That's okay. And I'm happy with my school because everyone there is so nice and friendly and kind. And there's also people with this similar interests, totally different interests, but similar personalities. Like there's all kinds of people there. And there's definitely people that are nothing like me that I kind of like, there's some people who are like super science nerds and like they're like that. And then there's other people who are just like straight performers and there's people in the middle and it's just a really good mix but everyone is so nice and kind of has a similar philosophy as to like carrying themselves and interacting with other people so i'm very happy with my choice in that respect in the apps talk to people i was in this one group chat for this one school and i could kind of get a vibe from these people and i joined like a snapchat group with them and it just wasn't my type of people and I wasn't feeling like comfortable with them and then just like looking through more of the Facebook posts like the way everyone interacted with each other just wasn't what I was looking for 
So I kind of steered away from that school. I mean, I also didn't like that school as much, but you can learn a lot about people from the way they introduce themselves on Facebook. And I know that's kind of crazy, but it's definitely not like the only thing you should go off of, but you should definitely look into it. Ignore the name on the door, because at the end of the day, a name on a diploma isn't everything. It's what you learn from it. And Honestly, some kids who come out of these small, tiny liberal arts schools are going to be more prepared for a job in the real world than kids who went to an Ivy League school and just think that their Ivy League education is going to carry them everywhere. And everyone has a different learning style. Everyone has a different social style. Everyone has something different. And if an Ivy League or a big campus like that type of thing is good for you, go for it. But if you want a small campus and you want something different than like an Ivy League, don't feel pressured into going to a school because it has a good name. If you can prove yourself at the end of the day and say the past four, five years, even six, if you're getting like a master's or no matter how long you take, if you can walk away at graduation and say, I learned something from this school, I feel prepared to go out, get a job and be successful on my own merit that's what you need to be able to say. You have to be able to say, I learned something, this was worthwhile. And going to a big school for me was not, because I know my learning style, and I know I work best in small environments where I can talk to people and like kind of figure things out. I don't, I couldn't imagine myself sitting in a lecture hall of five, 600 kids. I just couldn't do it. Even in class, I go to a very small high school and a class of 25 is big for me. So, Going to a small college and with a small class size was so important to me. I didn't even look at a single Ivy League. I didn't look at a single big school because I knew it wasn't what I wanted. And like some people are like, oh, why didn't you? And I said, it's not what I wanted. And the biggest thing at the end of the day is make sure it's what you want. Because no matter what other people say, you're the one who's going to be happy there. And if you're not happy, after your first semester, your second semester, or even your second year. No matter what point you are in college, you can always transfer. Transferring is a thing because people change. People discover that maybe I wanted this, but I don't anymore. I want something different. And that's totally okay because college is a time of change too and self-discovery. And if you discover that something's not right for you anymore, it might just be that you've changed and you want something different. Or even if the school's not as good as you thought and you're not getting what you want out of it and you want to go to a school where you are going to get more out of it, that's okay too. College is all about options and you have to find the option that makes you happy, makes you feel like you're going to be successful and that you didn't waste time and money at the end of the day. And that's the biggest thing. So deciding on a college is hard, but sometimes it's just thinking, where do I see myself? How do I feel at this school? How do I feel about this school compared to it? And like looking at the program, the stats, and all that kind of stuff can come separately. The other thing you do have to look at is money, because even though we have something set in our hearts, it might not always be feasible, because sometimes if a second runner up is going to get be the difference between a lifetime of debt and not, maybe you have to consider it. And not saying that money is like the all important end all be all, but you definitely have to think about it. If something's a couple thousand dollars cheaper, and by a couple thousand I mean like 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars cheaper per year, you kind of want to look at that because sometimes a big money difference and a small program difference it might not be worth it for the extra money. It might be, who knows? It's all up to you, but you just kind of have to think about these things. So when I was going through my college process, I did lots of visiting, I did open houses, I joined every Facebook group I could, and that kind of narrowed it down for me. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go at first, but then after thinking about it, I decided I wanted to stay close to home because there was already a lot of opportunities presented to me that I could see myself possibly getting in the future so that's what I wanted to stay around home for and some people want to go far away because they want different opportunities so it's really all up to you and the biggest factor for me is I went to a school where I felt at home and it was just nice because the program's good the social life is good like there's people that share similar interests that I can be friends with and the other good thing is I'm probably not gonna have to walk out with student debt because I don't need to take out loans. 
So it's all going to be, it all just worked out for me. And for some people, it's a little harder. It's going to take more thinking, but it's really all up to you and you have to make yourself happy first. And if you have any questions, like, please don't hesitate to reach out to me because I've helped my friends with this. We've talked it out. And sometimes it just helps to talk it out with a friend who knows you. Because even though you're thinking in your head something are two equals, when you're saying it, it might not be that way. So just talk it out with a friend. If you want to message me, feel free. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys because college is stressful. And if you're deciding on a college, you're down to the wire. You just kind of have to not to put it under like understate it but you just have to decide and then you're ready to go you go to orientation and you're all good and for those of you if you're a junior and you're just watching this video to get ahead like you have so much time to think about it you're gonna be fine like don't worry about it it doesn't have to be stressful you only put out as much stress as you want to so if you take it calm you think about it and you relax i'm sure you'll be fine and as i said if you have any questions you can reach out to me always feel free to i'm always here and i'll see you guys real soon